I check my chill. What I'm missing? Dang, I ain't got no headphones on, huh? Boy, look at here. This is going to be one of them shows already. Already <laughs> starting you off know, in I'm the I'm trying to learn how to eat cum. I'm I need like, to go get me some cum salad. It, it just got really well, real I'm in here. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. All I'm going like, to say, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Yeah, this chaos. Let me start over. <laughs> Let me step. Let me start over. This is chaos. One third of grime old. Um, half of the uh the television show grime old one hundred and one on uh, television every Monday on video mix. I'm on um strong on radio every Tuesday from ten o'clock to midnight. My bad. I'm just losing it because I'm so excited about the smell that's like consuming me right now and usually it's the smell of um very beautiful women like but this time it's it's something called conk like so a lot of the people that's online right now that's in germany and texas and all that if you haven't like ever witnessed conk like um you need to take a trip down here right and um Damn, boy, I'm so excited. I don't need, like, I, you know, I don't never usually be tongue-tied, but, like, I'm, like, really on my, um, yeah, like- excited to be in Miami right now because it's, it just got real. Like, I had somebody walking here with, like, the biggest bowl of conk that I ever seen in my life, and it just, like, it keep whispering to me and, you know, talking about, I don't even know how this conk know my name. And, 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 and here's a, here's a, here's a little, uh, uh, science for y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Um, conk is an aphrodisiac because it's, um, seafood. You know what I'm talking about? Can y'all set her up over here? Cause I want her to start my show with me. Get her some headphones o- uh, over here because, um, we going to start with her. Before I even go into her too deep, I'm going to just say, um, I got the homie H2 in here. What's up? DDJ H2. My homie H2 is in here. I'm very excited about that. You know what I'm talking about? For the last several weeks that y'all heard me on the radio, y'all been hearing a lot of DJs um, that were handpicked by me, um, mainly because these are the ones that really support my movement and support everything that I do. So, yeah, nigga, I'm being biased, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? That's what happened when you put Obama in the chair, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But, yeah, it be like that sometimes. You know, shout out to my whole strong arm family. Shout out to my whole grind mode team. Shout out to Street Guerrilla. Out there in Central Florida working my project and working the whole movement. Shout out, shout out to my whole new movement, Echelon Music Group. Um, I'm gonna just say a hundred thousand. But yeah, um, yeah, we don't like talking numbers over here, but you know what I'm talking about? I show out every now and then. I like to show out because I'm a nigga who started with nothing, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? And look at me. They said I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, bitch, I said it. So, anyways, yeah, I got H2 in the building, man. Uh, let the people know uh, you in here. It ain't just a a, a, a a radio drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Um, y'all heard me the other day right here on Strong Gone Radio. Mm-hmm. Mr. Like Fatty that. himself. Yeah. This, um, I come when the fuck I want to come in. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's going down, man. I got sweets over here. I got... Other beautiful women over there, and I need to get you a mic too somewhere in the mix over here, cause you know what I'm saying. I got this little chocolate thing over here with these Black check, History check, Month check. dreads over here. Is that better? Just, you know what I'm talking about? me better. I need you to come over here and find somewhere and just interact with my people because this is this is Miss Erotic herself. This is Miss Everything. You feel me? Like you know what I'm talking about? Like um. Yeah, we 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 gonna we gonna make some room. I'm trying to move. Excuse me, people that's at home. We ain't unprofessional. Um, it's just I got a lot of sex toys in here all over the place, and I got you know deep throat spray and oral gel and all that all on the floor. I'm so I'm so out of control right now. You feel me? Like I'm I'm not even joking. That's not a prop. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, um, I'm gonna let her introduce herself, and then we are gonna talk about this conk. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so won't you let the people know who you are and what you do? You talking about me? Mm-hmm. I'm L. Michelle. First off, allow me to reintroduce myself as mm-hmm. L. Michelle, spoken word poet, hostess, and author. I wear many mics. Mm. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. My bad. <laughs> and, um, is it good? What does mouth do? Let me tell you something. God, hey, girl. Girl. <laughs> girl, what you did? It is that girl running around here trying to... <laughs> Don't you introduce it? Uh, you got to just come up to this mic and tell these people who you are and what you do. 
Hey everybody, I'm Fruity Dress Kunk. Like I that. make the kunk. You make the conk. It's all over her shirt and all. She came over here prepared. You hear me? I'm talking about she got on a shirt, bro. You hear me? Some people come here unorganized. She advertised like, if you don't know who I am, That's right. you better read this read shirt. shirt you hear me? Like, real talk. They so, probably just looking at the titties. So that's why. <laughs> they probably looking at the titties. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. So, oh. so so that's what you're looking at? When she walked in, I looked at her titties. Mm. That's a good bra. That's <laughs> all that Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 sitting right. So she now we, we 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 in full play mode right now. We can't just jump right in. So we gon' we're gonna take it slow with you because my show be kinda crazy. I don't I don't know if you prepared, you know what I'm talking about? So I get that. You know, yeah, yeah, we're gonna help you. <laughs> so now, as far as the whole comp world, because it's a lot of competition out there. But before I even go into that, let's start. What is comp? And just just give a little history of comp itself, because some people get confused. Like when I talk about comp, when I travel and stuff like that, they be like, "What the hell is yeah, that?" Yeah, a lot of people don't know. I have a lot of followers, almost ten thousand. I'm getting there. Yeah, and a lot of people it. say like, "What is comp?" So I will hashtag it for them, or I t- I'll tell them to Google it. Maybe they'll get a better understanding. Like you said, it's aphrodisiac. It comes from the island. It's a, it's like a large shell with a mm-hmm. conch in it. Yo. And we fry it, we stew it, we make conch salad, dress conch with the vegetables. I do it with the fruit. Oranges, lemon, lime, mango, and pineapple. What you trying to get out your cup right My now? God. <laughs> My God. And I called it fruity dress conch. All right. So listen, are you from the islands originally? I have family. My granddaddy, mm-hmm. you know. Because most people that could put this, I'm gonna say a recipe because that's a recipe right that's there. Because I don't, I'm a conk eater, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And some people be doing that thing wrong, man. They be doing, <laughs> they be doing it wrong. They think it, no you comment. know, what I'm like for real, for real. And shout out to <laughs> Trick Daddy, man. Like that's, you know, that's my brother, man. And let me tell you something. I'm finna be, I'm finna be all in his phone in a minute. Cause <laughs> let me tell you something. Y'all think Trick just rap, man. Let me tell you something. That boy could whip anything up from scratch. Like, I ain't never seen nobody do it like my uncle and them. Like, he an old, geechy-ass young nigga. Like, for real. And I've seen him make conk, whether it's fried, whether it's salad, or whatever the case may be. And you might be coming for that boy, man. Really? I'll- Damn, I ain't mean to let that <laughs> shit come out my mouth. But I'm telling you, man. Like, And Trick got this... Little uh, KOD con- uh, contest coming up in like about three weeks, man. We got to get you in there, man. I ain't I'm even gonna very lie. Very interested. Oh no, nah. we 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 got to make that happen. That's like I think the second week in May or something like that in the front of King of Diamonds. I'm gonna get all the information, man. Even if I gotta just like keep calling his phone like thirty hundred times because he gotta know about this. <laughs> he he heard on my page before. He like what it tastes like. I say come. That's trade. Oh, and he competitive now. I know he is. I told him I don't want to bring out my pot. Don't bring your pots out on me. Sir. Oh my god. Right. That what you don't want to do. You don't want to you don't want to talk talk shit to that boy. Cuz he's a real Miami cooking ass boy look at here. Cuz I done been on the road with Trick and this nigga done, he don't even want nobody in the kitchen with him. He don't want nobody seeing what he put in there and I'm talking about man, look, man. <laughs> but this right here, this something to talk about because it got flavor to it. And it's like it's, it seemed like something passed down. Like, what made you get into that? Like, because that's a, that's, well, that ain't regular. Know, um, I, I used to jet ski and open lock at the lake on Wilmington Street. Okay. And every Sunday was out there and it was like, nobody ain't selling nothing out here. Yeah. What I could sell, what I could sell. And it just like came to me like a vision, a dream. Put this with that, do that with that. Mm. And I took it out there and I sold out in like two hours. Mm. And I was surprised at myself, and I started with two boxes yeah. and a wing and a prayer. <laughs> and that was two years ago, yeah. and it was consistent ever since, nonstop. Yeah. And and usually when I see, and then, like, you so young with it, it ain't like, you know, usually when I see them them real cookers and makers and designers, they be coming with that. They be like, and they 100 years old, and they them <laughs> old Bahama mamas and shit. Like, they from the islands. They like 100,000 years old, and. You can't tell them nothing, but you doing your thing, like like. So now nah, you done made it a business, though. Yes, it's a business. Well, I do it from home. That's why I started out. Okay. But I do cater. I do. It's no event too big or too small for me. Okay. I don't have no pride. I get out there, walk it up and down the street. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollar cups, fifty and hundred dollar bowls. Damn. 
I do it. I do the parade. I do football, track, weddings, parties. They call me for everything. When they call me, I'm there. Uh, but what's your, what's your main locations that you cover? Like, Well, I do it from home. I'm on 81st Terrace and 19th Avenue. Mm-hmm. I can be reached at 305-244-0522. Mm-hmm. I'm open from noon to 11 o'clock every day. Mm-hmm. Then I go to Beacon Hill, my daughter's school, okay. for my Miami Garden customers who can't come to me. I take pre-orders from 2 to 4, Holy and they shit. meet me at the school at 4.30, and they pick up their cups. <laughs> shit, real over there. And you all can follow me at Fruity Dress Kunk, F-R-U-I-T-Y underscore dress, D-R-E-S-S-E-D, Kunk, C-O-N-C-H. So now, two years ago, let's go back. We jumped in the time machine. Damn, <laughs> we flying back. Now, two years ago when you did this, like, you took a chance, man. You took, like, you know, it was a wing and a prayer. But with you jumping out there, like, did you expect, like, for it to hit like that? I because didn't the position that you in now and where you was at, like, two years ago, like, that's two different places now. Yeah, I didn't expect it. It was just saying, let me, let me just do it. Because I had a part-time job with the fire rescue. For well, seven Shit. years, I worked for Miami Dade Fire Rescue as a dispatcher. Girl, you getting them little <laughs> checks now. But come on, now and like, benefits. I did that, and it was like, wait, I want to make myself an entrepreneur. Uh. So I gave that up, mm-hmm. and I've been doing it ever since. Wow. So now we here. We came from two years ago. Now we right here in the present time. What are you looking at now? Like, what what is the goal? What is the vision? What is the mission statement? What is like? Okay, now I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm further than where I was. Because mm-hmm. you left a lot walking off a job in 2000 and whatever right now. Like, that ain't no easy thing. You don't just wake up and after you ate a bowl of Fruit Loops, just mm-hmm. say, you know what, middle finger to that job that was so good to me. Well, I thank God for putting me here in this position. Huh. Like him first. Come on now. Without him, <laughs> I'd probably be on that job still working for huh. the man. Yeah. But I got a lot of dreams. Like, I'm doing it from home now. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm, I plan on having a storefront. You know, I want a food truck as well. But not mm. a food truck, a conk truck. Fruity yeah. dress conk on wheels. Okay. Wow. You know, hashtag conk queen. Because okay. I feel like I'm the conk queen. Come on. All right. So what, what, what's stopping that, though? Um, It's nothing stopping. It's in progress. Oh. It's not stopped. It's Shut not being stopped. It's in progress. Hmm. You know, things take a little time. Yeah. <laughs> so you say, what, what else? You, you wanted that, but... I mean, what are what are some other endeavors that's related to what you're doing currently? Well, I do. Well, right now I want to do like get myself. I I want to give back. Okay. I want to give back, so I'm coming up with like how I could feed the homeless. Mm-hmm. Me and my team, we coming up with that. Damn. And um, you make a nigga wish they was homeless. I ain't never want to be homeless ever, man. No, just I to like try to that. just to catch that food truck, like you know what I'm talking about. And I'm a dirt ass nigga. I might see you it and then just strip down and put a old dirt ass shirt on, rub that bitch in the mud, and act homeless just to get a free thing. Now I'm petty. I got well, a go lot ahead. of dreams. I have a lot of dreams. You uh-huh. know, I, you know, you don't always supposed to tell it. Yeah. Just bust out with it. Come on now. That's the type of person I am. Rocks with you. Check you out. She done came up here structured. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? People don't know what the hell they talking about. I deal with them every day. Yeah. So now, are you satisfied? Are you happy with it? I'm progress. happy. I'm happy with my progress. I thank God every day. I'm satisfied, but this ain't where I want to be. I want to, you know, yeah. higher. Yeah. Climb that ladder. Okay. I ain't uh, finna it started let... all from two boxes of cunt. Two boxes. You know I'm what I'm talking about? Cases. They call me track queen. I don't want to be known as a track queen. I'm the cunt queen. All yeah. right. <laughs> put, People be that... like, you got too many cars in front of your house. Like, they buying cunt. Yeah. That's dope, though. I keep them coming and going. Coming and going. That shit put me in the mind of the story of, like, Coca-Cola and how they say that they first year, they only sold, like, what, about 12 bottles or 20 bottles and, and they first year. And look at Coca-Cola now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't even know how or some of the histories that come from, like, empires. You know what I'm saying? So, man, keep doing your thing, man. I, know. I, know. I like I like those stories in which, you know, we can take something from and then we could just keep going ourselves because you don't know who's listening, who you're inspiring, exactly. especially as a woman. And I got to definitely highlight that because it ain't easy. You it's know what I'm talking about? Because it's a man's world and y'all got to make some accommodations and some submissions 
So I salute y'all, man. Thank you. Your whole you. movement. Like, is it a team involved? Is it, you know, yes, the, the little the girl, team. your daughter cutting up the Kong and snatching it out the <laughs> shell? How that work? Team. It look easy when I post up those pictures and you just uh -huh. get pretty Kong. I got a cutter. Keep talking so I can eat more. I got my mom cutting, <laughs> my son cutting, my boyfriend cutting. Come but on I now. got my muscle, my daddy. Uh -huh. He the one going, if I don't feel like getting out there hustling it, he going to hustle it. Like, everybody know him. Oh, they think he do it. Yo. My muscle, I call him my muscle. He gonna get out there. He Shout out to it. that old boy out there. Duke, they call him Duke. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. And it's just a, it's just a, a small family thing. That's, That's how I'm gonna keep it family. Listen, I ain't finna let her go nowhere because um I got more guests in here. I'm gonna run a little music, but before we do that, because I got some callers that's gonna call up too. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And um. I want you to get some advice to some of like the new jacks or somebody that might be going down that same path mm -hmm. that's knowing what you're doing. Okay. So, go ahead. Talk to them. Um, like I said, you have to pray. Pray. Because prayer changes things. You got to keep God first. And don't worry about what he or she say. Put your pride aside because pride, with that pride, you ain't going to, pride will stop you. Mm -hmm. Motivate yourself. Keep it going. And just don't don't cut out all the negative, the negative people, negative all just all that bad stuff. Cut it out, and go forward. They gonna talk about you when when blessings come, haters come. Surely is. You just gotta block them out and pray for them and keep on going and make that money. For real. Listen, man. Um, uh, I appreciate you coming by. Like I said, I ain't gonna let you go nowhere, man. <laughs> I want to talk about that aphrodisiac uh, situation, man. Uh, get them thoughts together, cause I want to. I want to know how real that is. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Cause uh, it really is real. Cause I know what seafood does. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I got El Michelle. It in smells hell. like everything in heaven. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if they ain't got no conk in heaven, man, you. send me the. Nah, I'm just joking. Mm -hmm. But listen, um, yeah, man, shout out. <laughs> hey, get that contact information one more time, <laughs> for real. Fruity dress. Conk, Instagram, F R U I T Y underscore dress, D R E S S E D, Conk, mm -hmm. C O N C H. And I could be reached at 305 244 0522. I cater, I do parties, I do events. No party is too big, no party is too small. Give me a call, text me, DM me. Mm -hmm. I'm here to answer all questions. And hopefully, I can cater your next event. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. she, ain't, she ain't going nowhere, man. She, <laughs> she trying to leave out here early and all that. She done brought security niggas from the brown subs and this bitch with her. So I'm trying to watch my mouth. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got, no, cool, metal detectors. Cool, cool. We ain't got no metal detectors in the goddamn radio station, man. Hey, drop that down, man. I need a um, scribble pole over here and a metal detector, man. I don't we gonna need do no metal detector. We, we going to do this like Coco. I, I got, got my own metal and it's yeah. <laughs> Whatever nah, nonsense you nah, got going can't on. Nobody nah. Get past, nah, nah. Can't nobody get past our, we, our gates, bro. Can't no, nobody we, enter the compound. I'm just, I'm just that mean if their problem get here, that mean we let them in. Nah. Basically. They can't get past security. I'm just, I'm just talking trash though. Salute to the uh the fam that done came through definitely. Let me say something. Um, what's good? Right now I got nine thousand eight hundred and twenty four followers. Uh huh. My ten thousand followers. You should refresh. You got, you um, got me following. Giving you know? them a three hundred dollar bowl. Oh snap! For My real. My ten thousand follower. But Ooh. you gotta be local because I don't. <laughs> ship. They ain't gonna taste the same if a nigga got a yeah, UPS exactly. that I get thing. Those yeah. A lot. Do you ship? Comp? Tell People us. Just go be tell waiting. us. You gotta put that disclaimer now. You People gotta be local. Be you have to be local where you could come pick your conk up. Fresh. Yeah, so oh. my ten thousand follower, I'm looking. Get a few. What what, what number is on again? Uh, right now I'm at nine eight two four. Nine eight two four. You gonna have somebody unfollow Ooh, and then refollow yeah. when that thing's they, <laughs> like slow, that. they slow. They slow like that though, and they they gonna think it's gonna count too though. You know what I'm talking about? Like you gotta you, have that app. <clears throat> usually, I, that app. I have it. Usually, I bring people up to speed um about um my week and all that. And the only thing I really did this week was uh roller Family skating drunk with, with the family and all that. Uh, let's get that caller, man. Let's see what this caller doing. Caller, what's good? What's up, man? What's your name? Uh, Mr. West. Okay. Uh, where you calling from? Man, I'm calling from Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, come on, now. Y'all kind of thugging out there, man. Crime rate. <laughs> yeah, boy, y'all. 
Boy, look at I heard about five gunshots when you called here, boy. Nobody Kansas, <laughs> nobody Kansas City, man. What's on your mind, though, bro? Nah, man, I called us to support my boys, Barry, and the rest of the Zoo House boys, you know what I'm saying? Man, Zoo House, man. What they do, man? Yeah, man. Man, you know I wasn't going to get off the L without saying, boy, it's going down in Daytona this weekend. Yep, yep, can't I wait. Bitch, I got one baby. I'm about to make nine of them this week. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, though. But I will be bringing up like about 2,000 condoms for y'all uh, as a little plug in there. You know, to my shout out to B Condoms, one of my sponsors. <laughs> so I'm going uh, to keep y'all safe, man, because I don't, I don't want, you know, um, Florida Supervine to end up with a whole bunch of uh, Florida Super uh, baby showers in nine months. You, know? <laughs> you already know, man. So check this out, man. What's on your mind? Talk to me. Nah, man. Just can't wait to get to Florida this weekend. Yeah, Party man. with more people. All right, so look, here go my question of the night. You ready? Yeah. Eye contact during sex. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay, yeah. why? Why though? I mean, it's just I mean, depends on if depends on the partner. Depends on the person that you with, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If you with your lady, yeah, most definitely, because that's intimate right there. But okay. if you just trying to hit something off, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'll look the other way. Ah, what you, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, you got to look the other way, though? Yeah. Why you got to look the other way? Like, she ugly or something? Like, what? I mean, not she ugly, but she, she, don't, she don't deserve that intimacy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if you was with your lady. Damn, that's key, man. But you done said, you done said something real, real, real. Now that that sounds like an answer I would have said, though. I ain't going to lie, though. Now it depends Dang. on uh hold on, hold on, intentions huh? behind the, that. The, the, the woman I mean, the woman's perspective. Now now what is it? What happened? You don't necessarily have <laughs> to be uh you ain't gotta be intimate. It could be that I got you girl, or that I got you boy, like <laughs> let me look him in his eyes real fast. Nah, <laughs> you know I mean? I'm scared I'm scared to look a woman in their eyes. Especially that thing good. That means she trying to suck your soul out and absorb your soul or something. You exactly. know what I'm talking about? And I can't I can't even have that though. You know what I'm talking about? Kansas City, let me ask you something. Yo. What's what's something that you looking forward to go down this weekend? Like, what, what's your main day? Because there's a lot of events that we got going on for Super Vine and Daytona player. But but what is the, what what you like? Oh, damn, I can't wait to see this person or this event. I'm tr- I'm I'm excited about the all-white party. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're going to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be fresh, dip, butter. You know what I'm saying? Damn boy, I ain't even I ain't even thought that far. Shit, I need to go shopping, bitch. Golly, boy, you just put pressure on me, bro. I feel like you gonna come in that bitch with a cane, dressed like you going to the prom sure in this bitch. Yeah, for real, for real. So, anything you want to say before you get off the line, player? Nah, man, I just wanted to shout out and support my boys, Barry, Drank, One Hundred, Stick, Uncle Dad, all the Zoo House, man. And my boys, for real. Man, you already, you already know, man. Like, look, man, I'm going to check you out this weekend, man. It's going down. You already know, player. All right. All right, homie. Peace. Yo. Yeah. So, now, nah, um. <laughs> Damn, man. So, y'all almost killed, sweet. Yeah. Y'all almost killed, sweet. Everybody, sweet. Sweet don't know how to eat. Come on. Everybody Come get, on, it's spicy. The cut's good, though, y'all. Don't think that it's bad or nothing. It's crazy. good. Hey, hey, y- it y- just y- got me choking. Y'all hear that half-dead voice? <laughs> <laughs> it's, the I, cup's good, y'all. I, I, think, I think she knew to cup's, it, though. The cup's yeah, good. Yeah. That's a virgin mouth. Right What's that virgin mouth? <laughs> That's that virgin mouth, because if it was a pro, I took that with stride. Like, like I done tasted spicy where they just straight. Yeah. I'm talking about tobacco sauce like and just do. And stuff. I yeah, like the they... pineapples in it. That's, oh my that's, god, that's bomb. Thank the pineapples. That's... <laughs> nah, that's that's real dope, man. No, it's good. It's good. Yo, man. So that connects with the, the whole fruity. What are the fruits <laughs> besides the pineapples? You got the orange, lemon and lime slices, mango and pineapple dice. Blood, blood. Just don't do spice. So look, let me ask you something else too, though. Is it like different like renditions that you do? Like, okay, this is. The vegetarian, vegetarian version. Yeah. This is the this is for the Muslims. 
No, no. Oh, the non spicy version. Okay, I do. Okay, the non spicy <laughs> version. I won't put no hot sauce in for her. I give her straight like extra fruity. Yeah, yeah that's what I was expecting. Extra fruity. fruity. <laughs> extra fruity. So that's good. why her name is sweet. Oh, she's so fruity. Then I do it like you got. I have a lot of people that can't eat pineapple, so mm-hmm. okay. You mix and match it. They like fruit. sucks. Ugh. Yeah. Mix they stuff don't taste up. good. Oh, my for real. That's so random. Hey, we're going to get into that later, right? <laughs> that stuff tastes nasty. And I make it with no fruit at all. Yeah. All right, so let me... Uh, <laughs> what would be the tradition? No I fruit. I be traditional. No, nah, I'd be trying to... Maybe tradition is like they um, well, the I, vegetables and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I have to let them know, listen, Where I'm fruity. Where is Rick at, man? <laughs> hey, Rick, man, because Rick say he, he, he definitely had to get some, and we got Flo Ride over here. We got a whole bunch of people that's over here that's on. Um, they've been waiting for you. Like, I'm surprised you ain't get jumped out the bushes on. You know what I'm mm. talking about? So they around here lurking. They, they just lurking. trying to let us... You know, settle in <laughs> with the couple of bowls, and it then they finna. The yeah, yeah, they yeah. nah, they here though. They just, especially after playing basketball and all that. Yo, it's going down. Aphrodisiac, is it true? Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody with me. I mean, a lot I don't mean you saying. personally. <laughs> I just mean like, like when when people eat cunt, is it true? Because I hear a lot of women that like to eat cunt because it like set that vibe and it. Get the juices I, flowing. I've heard it. That's why I say I never. Ex- it don't do nothing for me. A lot of people like the ends. You're immune to it. <laughs> yeah, I am. They like the conk ends of it. Can I get the ends? Oh, the ends. The ends. It do this. It do that. Wait, what? Run this back. I ain't never heard that part. You know the conk yellow, end. the mm-hmm. orange part of the conk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They like to chew that. Oh. The they like to chew that end. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard something about that. They like to chew. But I would something think that the. I would think that you would probably crave conk like. Maybe you know how mm. when it be ladies, your time of the month, and you just feel like you really jump on a dick, like that comes in combination. Ooh. Okay, I don't know how we got here, but no, we're going there. We're going there. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know how we got there. Damn it. Let me pass these condoms out because we're going there. <laughs> Let me rethink <laughs> what I got I'm going done. on. We got a caller. Mean, you speak There's a language. caller in the air. I mean, <laughs> right on time. <laughs> yeah. put a, I can't even put think. Put a right condom now. on this goddamn microphone. This shit finna get real in here. Hold on one moment. Goddamn it. Strong on radio. Caller, you on air? What's good, caller? Mm-hmm. Shout, shout out to all our um, callers from TGK, Stockade, Metro West. Um, you know what I'm talking about, calling in, but them COs be tripping. We already know how that go, you know what I'm talking about, you know. But, yeah, man, I had to put a couple condos on the mic. You know, I don't want no babies being made tonight. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so now, Miss Fruity. <laughs> uh, now, eye contact, doing sex, yes or no? Yes. Definitely. Why? Why? It just do something to you like that when you look in the baby look at me in my eye don't start it in here <laughs> what you the, look it's just it's like it make the it, and she talking about that shit don't work yeah. look. <laughs> look. baby look me in the eyes oh <laughs> she no. ready I, I, they about a, to block it, all it, us it, out it, it, <laughs> see, it's just like it make it more wetter and, and oh better God. like uh, uh, wetter and what, better what is, uh, <laughs> that's recognition that you're both in uh, the same MB, spot at MB, the same time I know you're listening I need that on a shirt tomorrow wetter and better wetter <laughs> and better <laughs> but yeah that's that's real sweets what's the response now y'all know I'm petty so it just depends. Okay, if it's a dude I'm just smashing because I need a nut, mm-hmm. then no, bitch. Don't look in my eyes. Don't right. even kiss me. <laughs> don't don't even touch me. Just fuck me. That's it. Oh, now, if it's somebody right. who, you know, is my bae, then you <laughs> better difference. shoot. When you get mm-hmm. in me, the second bitch, you better look in my eyes, bitch, and tell me it's real. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I think I think everybody kind of relatable oh. on that on that topic. H two, go ahead. Oh shit, me? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know, boy. I, like, I'm trying to focus. I ain't looking you in your eyes. You just trying to hit it from the back. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. You know, I right, put them legs up, but I ain't gonna look you in your eyes. You might, you know, you might give me that look or something, and then it's in the whole goddamn thing early. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. I'm looking at the wall. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, wow. My mind, my mind be somewhere else, man. It's see, that's see, Red niggas be late. I ain't gonna lie. Certain, <laughs> certain things I just can't do uh, throughout that action. You know what I'm talking about? Because I know me. Eye contact is like, eye contact is a weakness. And then, like, yeah. licking and kissing on my chest when I'm like, that shit is a real weakness. So, that's why I be trying to wear, like, my bulletproof vest when I be fucking. Because I don't be wanting Are you sensitive with your to, nipples? 
Is that okay? Like, Jesus, you know, in the Jesus, intimate Jesus, moment, you know, a little eye connection, a little Jesus, Jesus, nipple I'm nibbling. Jesus, I'm <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my bad. I be praying and all. I be singing gospel. Hold and on. All. Let her finish up because she was going to direct. She's going somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so she's going somewhere. I'm just, I'm just curious to know, you know, you have eye connection things when you talk about being intimate. Like, yeah. do you... Do you like your nipples being bitten? You know, most guys be like, nah, man, that's gay. And then some guys be like, bite my nipple. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> my thing, my thing, my thing with the nipple thing, and I'm I, I hate when men say that this gay and that's gay, because nine times out of ten, them niggas gay. But listen, like anything with a woman, nine times out of ten, like most most things, uh, I don't know. And we talk about this at passion parties when I like, deal with it, but I just hold on. <laughs> we gotta call. Put a pin in that bitch. <laughs> Carla, how you doing? Hi. What's your name? I'm Mocha. Mocha, what's Mocha. good? Nothing much. I'm just really, really waiting for this Florida Supervine to, to get here. Oh, snap. You're another Superviner. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm Mocha Zoo. Oh, my gosh. All the Supervine people calling, man. So let me ask you this, though. Where you hitting us up from? Well, right now I'm in New York City. New York City, what part? Manhattan. Oh, shit. No. You better hide, hide that purse, dude. Shit real like that. <laughs> I know about Manhattan. So, now, nah, check this out, man. What what, what you looking forward to on, on, on Supervine, man? Is it is That it, Molly Juice. The Molly Juice? <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, oh, my God. Let me tell you something. We going to give away some Molly Juice tonight. That's right. Barry Tone told me to give away some Molly <laughs> Juice. I'm going to do that. I got, I got a lot of giveaways. Man, I might give away oh, a vibrator yeah. tonight, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you, you, like, you like vibrators? I need one. You you like vibrators? Look at this this time. Me? Yeah. Yes. What kind? Mm. What's your vibrator of choice? Huh? What's your vibrator of choice? Go ahead. I got something called a Hummer. It has a yes. hummingbird attached to it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How many speeds on it? 7, 12, what? 12. 12. Damn. God damn. <laughs> Why are you on the phone right now? Like, you should be. You heard that you should echo be going. in the background. Should, it goes down. Twelve speed. I know you single. Nick, if a female ever got any vibrator that got twelve, they they ain't no future with that one. Yeah. Really? Trust me, cause every time you argue with me, what is going down, bitch? She gonna be like, nigga, why am I with you, man? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, man. What's the website of choice? Go ahead. Oh, um, you know, there must be a few. Options. Hey, 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 stop options. <laughs> Go ahead. Which one? What's the what's what's the what's the top one? Hmm. What's the top website that you love to visit? What well, as far as porn? Yeah. XNXX.com. Oh my God, we twins. I love you. <laughs> I swear to God, I love you. I don't even know you. I love you. Um, I see you, at Supervine. Um, leave the 12 speed round. Boy, let me tell you something. Everybody say Pornhub or Red Tube or Tube 8. That or... shit will give your computer viruses. Let me tell Tasty you something. Tastyblacks.com yeah, is pretty that's, awesome. Yeah, that's, that's dope too. But let me tell you something about that accent. <laughs> hey, I can't stay on the phone with you. I got people calling. Hey, look, listen. Answer the question, man. Eye contact, yes or no? Doing sex? No. No? No. Why? I don't want to look at your ugly face while you nutting. Like that shit's not sexy. It's not. Sexy. Oh, well, damn. So, so, so hold on. Let me. That's your final answer. So your yeah, answer. that is my final answer. So you don't straight know, up. Damn, you hardcore. You is really a New York straight kid, like up. For real, like. So you don't want to look in a guy's face in his eyes. No, he looking like he just stubbed his toe on the corner of the bed. No. <laughs> he got an ugly fuck face. Damn. Then. I ain't gonna lie, I got an ugly fuck face, man. I done disappointed some women like, damn, man. But if you hitting it right, she she making uglier faces. Yeah. Trust me. Her face is like real Chewbacca face ass. <laughs> All right, check this out. I got to get this another caller, man. My mama be tripping. I ain't supposed to be home by myself. Hey, man, I uh, appreciate you calling, man. We going to uh, try to get some Molly Juice out tonight, man. We going to that next caller. Let's get it. Uh, ain't no call. You say what? Calling hung up. God damn, man. man. It's getting crazy, man. It's too, oh, it's too it early for it to be. Caller, what's good? Yo. What's good? What's this, your name? It's King Price off of Vine. What they do, Pippin? Well, then. You famous as shit, boy. Who, me? You, you know me? You famous, nigga. 
man, I'm just hype about this Super Vine, dog. I can't wait to get there. Yeah. It's going down this weekend. I ain't even on live. Y'all don't know about Super Vine. Go to FloridaSuperVine.com. I think I did that right. FloridaSuperVine.com. You, you did it right. You did it right. I am already packed. I might put my white clothes on tonight and just ride down tomorrow. This nigga say you going to put the white outfit on now to wear now it on and Friday? ride down tomorrow. Man, you my nigga, man. God ready for the damn, fight. bitch. Boy, you got be... somebody to get me dirty. It's a fight. I'm telling you. Oh, my God, boy. I'm standing in the corner, bitch, with my all white on, bitch. I'm telling you. I might wear the Outer Iverses that night. For real, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wear the AIs that night. They're exclusive, man. But I'm coming in my white Kit Kat shoes. I all want right, to take so, so check this out. Here's the question of the night. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, eye contact, yes or no, doing sex, eye contact. Of course. Of course? Of course, eye contact. Why? You must take her soul. That's what I'm talking about. No. That is what I'm no. talking about. You're not the one See, taking her soul, I was remaining though. silent because you I thought I was weird. You can't make me look at you, though. <laughs> no, you, no. Listen. No, yes. Listen. You got to have that. we're going to make eye contact, trust and believe will. I'm taking your soul. It's oh, not, not going to be the happen. other way around. You just choked on that's a little bit of conk, baby. I'll take your soul. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't the conk that down. I choked oh, on, man. though. Uh, look, it wasn't the conk that I choked on. When you look into this this dead gaze I'm going to give you, <laughs> stare you down. You can't You can't just look at them. Depending on where y'all at, you got to look at them, and then you grab their face real soft, <laughs> but stern enough so they know, don't you move. Child, I'm like, bitch, you better get your hand off me if you want this nut. So check <laughs> it out. Because I stop. You, you, fa- you famous, so I'm going I'm to give you I'm gonna give you another question of the night. This was last week's question. Rough sex or um, soft sex? Which one? Say that again? Rough sex or slow sex? Go ahead. <sighs> that's, 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 that's a tough one. It's, it, it, it depends on the situation. Yeah. It depends on the situation. But you know what? Florida Superman tactics. I'm going to go with the rough. I'm going to go with the rough. This is going down to that bed. God go damn. Ain't going to be Ain't no need for me to go, go slow and love you. I don't love you. Damn, but what if what if what if it's that vinyl, right? That you have been waiting to vibe with, right? And she that one, she cute as shit and she um she right though. Then you give her a combination of both. Ah. Uh. Good answer, man. We finna go to this next caller, man. Appreciate you calling, man. Stay tuned in. You heard me? No problem. Already. Man, it's going down tonight, man. I see. Florida Supervine, man. It's going to be crazy. We got that other call in? No, that didn't pop up. You be hanging up on people and stuff like That's that. That's what man. I do. Like, for real. <laughs> if they got a problem, they can call back at call 786-801-0031. You already or know. Or 32 or three three before before we uh uh do any more talking right i need to um my young lady to find one of them poems deep deep in her soul or in her phone or get that thought together find something that's gonna wet everybody up and then we're gonna come back after this caller what's good caller what's up there caller are you there what they all right, See, the callers is scared. That's what it is. Yeah. Petty not not hanging up on them. Nah, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't scared. They just like, you know. <laughs> some scared. of them be masturbating and then they phone slip and they finger slip. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so Trying not. to vine and masturbate. Yo, they, they need they, a life-proof case. Trust me, they do. <laughs> oh, my God. So you ready, you ready for us? I'm always ready. I'm born ready. Should we turn the lights down low? Because I be liking to set that vibe like. You, you ain't even really. Yeah, ain't gonna that's low. how you feel. You mm-hmm. need to turn it down. He on the lower. I be, I be, I be needing it. In a couple more weeks, watch what I, watch what I do to this room. You know what I'm talking about? When I had them oh. candles and. The, oh. That real, oh. Where that, these, where that these, at though? These lights is off. They not yeah. even low. They I like, off. I like it better like that. Off. I like it better like that. Turn the TV off. I don't want, uh, I don't want, I don't want the, uh, fruity, fruity dress coat. And we got the <laughs> coat. Your country. boy just turned the lights right off. Nah, because he you already know what time it is. I don't want nobody. That coat that got to him. That coat that got to that boy. He got to that boy. Lights off. Don't we don't need, need no don't eye need, contact. I don't need nobody saying what I do we with my already hands. Ready. So it's better for the lights to be off. So <laughs> all right, let's everybody bring it down. We going into poetry vibe. Yes. All right, everybody snap. <laughs> I'm gonna spit some shit. My hands. Just let y'all know real again. That's what I mean by um, 
an erotic poet and author. I host an um, open mic every third Friday at Majestical Lips, so you can come and spit that ill shit. We have a live black rock band, fusion band, they get off. We got a drummer chick and whatnot. We have vegan food, and I'm going to get with you, Fruity Conk, and see if you want to be a vendor out there on one of our sure nights. And enough. We gonna we going to turn <laughs> up like that. But I'm, I'm going to spit this poem real fast since we doing nasty shit this evening. I know I just dropped jumped all across the board with nipple biting and all kind of stuff like that. No, but you, um, you jumped across the board? No, you ain't jumped across Because y'all was like, what? Because I was waiting on that nipple bit. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit more than um, everybody in the building in here like chocolate. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. yeah. All right, I like that. Mm. One more game. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Can I get night? Aight. All right, I'm going to turn up in this bitch. It is something about your brown skin that is so sexy, so rich, so creamy. I think I want it on my skin. And then let me see your eyes are like almond milk swirls. Different shades of brown. Mmm, honey. Mmm, caramel. Mmm, mocha curving around like the richer part of your cocoa bean. Your grip and stroke is mean. Mmm, the chocolatiest thing I've ever seen. The way you lay in between my legs as I tremble and shake. Chocolate shake. Trying to hold back my vanilla volcanic shake. My breath you take. My walls ache. I'll fantasize and masturbate. No artificial flavors, pure. I love how cocoa smells when it's hot. Blowing it like it's hot. Sip me with ease, so gentle, wet, and tasty. Please taste me. Wrap your arms around my waist. Firmly pull me into your face. I'm straddling those lips like I'm on a horseback riding trip. We're messing up the sheets to melt chocolate, just that heat. I'll suck that dick like I got no teeth. Ooh. Let that vanilla cocoa bean fill my throat like soft syrup chocolate ice cream with nuts. Mmm, M&M with peanuts and hot fudge. And I, and I, think I'm having an orgasmic cavity from your chocolatey cavity all over me. Bate, bate, chocolate. Aight. Aight. <laughs> okay, you cut the lights back. Nigga! Nigga! <laughs> I need some Remy. Help <laughs> me, nigga, <laughs> nigga. Right, you, can, you can cut them lights back on for real, cause um, I don't know. I had, <laughs> I had forgot people was here. I mean, they don't gotta be all the way up. You I would, do, I would just, down, like, nigga. That's too bright in here now. Yeah, <laughs> come on down. Yeah, you know, you know. Damn, I'm blind in this bitch. Yeah, like the chicken at KFC right now. <laughs> nah, that was down. that was really really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna let her find something else too, though. Y'all can um, check that out on iTunes too. Um, since we got you, uh, what we need you to, uh, God, Lee, I ain't never gonna get a life up. Since we got her where we need her at, um, why don't you tell the people what you do, even though you gave them a couple titles, man, run that back, because now I think they're gonna take it a little more serious, like, you don't just play, play, do this, you really. Yeah, this is, this is what I do, I, um. Let me just go back a little bit. Go ahead. In my former life, I was a crime scene investigator, mm-hmm. and I have two passions, which is science and writing. So I decided to, you know, some other things came up in life, so I decided to take this path right here with writing, and um, I've been writing for over 20 years. I bust my poetic cherry at the Literary Cafe. Shouts out to Will the Real One. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. And um, i just been doing my thing. I, just, I released a book last year um, entitled Some Chick's Diary, but you can check that out um, on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, CreateSpace.com, and if you're local, and Books and Books and Coral Gables. And, um, yeah, it's a collection of erotic poetry um, and journal entries from different women about their lives. Just some random, I'll say some sci-fi erotic shit. What, what, what got you <laughs> into that whole lane? Because that's a world of its own. Like, yeah. people that don't. Like walk that world, they don't really know about which world crime scene or no 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 no, no, no. her the writing whole, the whole the whole writing world and the whole poetry world and the whole well writing is something that um I have to thank my parents for because we read yeah you understand like you was gonna read a book you was gonna read a newspaper it was reading was important so mm-hmm. you know being home with my dad and stuff which was funny um he you know he was a when he started off being a firefighter they would be home on a few days and be gone so when he was home he'd go put me in front of sesame street and some books and some writing stuff and just do you i'm gonna go to sleep mm-hmm. <laughs> so it was like eventually you start creating characters and you start just coming up with a imagination and 
going from there. So it starts like, you know, from school, elementary school, iter- entering literary contest and stuff like that. And I suck at math. I always did well on the composition and the English grammar parts of those standardized testing. So it's something, it's just a passion. I like writing. I like expressing. I, I just, I love that shit. Poetry, but, short stories, all that. But you could tell, like, like from your delivery, like I had her on my television show and you're very explosive and some people like don't understand like being 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 an artist myself and dealing with open mics and uh shout out to Larry Dog and all that. I come Yo. from I'm an old school young nigga and it's like to see some people be petrified of the mic, like you actually take control of the mic. Like I, I love the mic. It's a phallic symbol. Y'all know what phallic is. Yep. <laughs> so do. So you came from the whole wheel of real um, realm, and you got to experience some of that. Like, um, shouts out to all the South Florida poets, Nubian, Red Riding Hood, because it's Nelly not easy. G. It's a whole heap of them out there. It's not. It's not easy. It's not easy to make a living from it either. That's why I'm glad that I write yeah. outside of of poetry because my uh, my aspirations of just being a retired writer and sitting somewhere in my beach home and. Writing books and shit. You can look out for a children's collection right there, a children's book. <laughs> it's going to be coming out really soon. Um, the Great Escape of Rufus. Mm-hmm. You know, who, um, if, you, if you're nasty while you're reading some chick's diary masturbating, you can give your kid a book in the room to go read. So, 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 so let's okay. let's talk about that that book that you actually took serious enough not only to put together and actually produce it, which that takes a certain amount of discipline. Absolutely. A lot of discipline, not just waking up and just throwing it together. And right. You have to go through the research or knowing the proper information to put it out there because you're actually on Ab- Amazon and right. several different other places. Right. So now you have the hard copy. You got the hard copy with you? Hard copy right here. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. This is the first time I've seen it off of. Right, because you got it on Kindle. Shout yeah. out to you for downloading that on Kindle. Yeah, man. It's on sale right now for 99 cents. So uh, check that out. Some how much is the hard right? copy there? Hard copy is is ten bucks when you see me online. It's like ten ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, something like yeah, that. Yeah, man. So go go download that bitch. It's on <laughs> That's volume <laughs> one. So it's gonna be more volumes it's in it. Ninety nine cents. Yeah. yeah, on Kindle Can't right now. Can't beat that for a dollar. Yeah, Can't man. Beat that. And I messed around and broke my phone after I bought it. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. So I ain't get to finish it. And it has photographs and, and in then, it, look, which you did, did remember that the photographs yeah, are I've, I've used them a couple of times. It got pictures. pictures. It's then, pictures, yes, of me. Look at this of ninth you. grader. It got pictures? I put, what I decided to do with the book, um, because it's all me, mm-hmm. is being that there's different women in there, and it's called Some Chick's Diary. There's a masked person on the cover, which would be me. Shouts out to Peter at the junkyard over there in Cairo Lane for letting me come over there and shoot in the junkyard for when I was making the um <laughs> my poetry CD. Uh-huh. But I wanted I wanted the model to be me. Some of those stories come from real life things that have happened to me, things that I, you know, experienced on the police department, things that my friends have experienced. Um Don't think I'm talking about you, bitch, when you read it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just <laughs> like it's just it is, you know, it is what it is on there it's really not just because it's my book but it's funny after everything the complete production of it and i sat back and i read i was like this shit is crazy because i wrote it some time ago so so you know how you know how some artists or you know they have like a favorite song like do you have a favorite chapter or do you have a favorite story or do you have a favorite like even paragraph in there there's a particular um character in there that she's She's a student, and she's never really masturbated before. Mm-hmm. Not never really. You either do or you don't. But she's never <laughs> masturbated before. Yeah. You don't just touch it and stop. But, you know, she, you know, she's always going to school. She's studying. You know, her friends are hoes. They hang out. She smoke weed, but she don't got time to masturbate. So she fucks around. And, mm-hmm. and she's also never had a threesome. So you just want to read it, pick it up, and see what happens about this is her first time with just doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's not like outlandish. It's relatable to some women because there's some women who don't masturbate. They're not that mm-hmm. comfortable with themselves to like, I never thought about it. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it depends on this book touches on different things that may have happened to women as to why they don't. You know, some women have experienced sexual abuse or something. So they 
they feel a way with touching themselves, you know, whereas uh, sweets. the opposite <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of a woman who's experienced that may want to touch herself and others all the time. So it just touches on a lot of different uh, maybe sweets. realistic things. So so <laughs> so with so with this with this child and this project being born, like what is next? I mean, you said there's more to come, but are you still going to keep the volumes going with this, or do you have something that's... I'm going to keep some Chick's Diary volume, too. It's going to be the same characters getting more into their lives. This is just an introduction for you to meet who okay. they are. And, um, you know, eventually coming up, their one love is poetry, but they have completely different lives, different things going on. Um, you know, there's professional women in there. There's... Your number one thought in there. And for whatever reason, the story in reference, I call it the thought, you know, that may be politically incorrect, but a lot of people like that one. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So that helps me with building, you know, for the next, you know, book, what people are looking forward out of the, you know, the growth or, okay, I got to know this little bit about this character. What else happened? Because they might be able to relate to the women that are in the book and the poetry. The erotic poetry is, is pretty dope. Shouts out to Durant Photography. Um, <laughs> Who shot me up in there? Hmm. Shot with those. Shot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I thought about something totally different. <laughs> I'm, back. I'm trying to come back to the radio I show that. because sometimes I I thought about some of the stuff that I read in there and it's kind of exciting. Does, it is. Guys really like it too. Yeah. It's 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 dope pieces and uh, like um, speaking of masturbation, like like do you do you hear any poems like when you at some of these slams or or things like does poetry excite you cuz i've heard that before that like poetry or certain poems like shouts out to nubian the erotic the erotic that baby right there if y'all know who nubian is she makes me feel comfortable because we're really like the only two poets that are actually going on a set and just i suck dick and then we express that and everybody's like Whoa. jesus <laughs> Right. right, and then the phone. And the phone, <laughs> yeah. right on time. And the phone rings. Right. Call it strong on radio. What's good? How y'all doing? Oh shit! Don't call with that voice. Hey. Shit. <laughs> I ain't got no boxes on. What's no up, talk what's like that. What? No, I'm just joking. Uh, what's your name? It's Tiflips. Oh, okay, what's good with you? Barry told me to call up to the station. Damn, so you I made it sound like it's punishment. That nigga beat you or something? No, my oh. fault. I'm high as shit. Oh, <laughs> damn. 420 was Yo. yesterday, boo. Damn. Still rolling every day. out this every day. 420 every day. <laughs> that shit extended. So check this out, though. <laughs> um, Yo, man. Um, So what you looking forward to with this Super Vine, though? We're going to turn up. This is my first time going to the Super Vine. So I'm just willing to turn up. That's all. Where you we need a couple people to connect. Oh, you... Are you trying to connect or are you trying to connect? <laughs> That's the I'm looking at. But, you but trying to make way, that shit connect? Make it fun. Oh, you trying to make it fun with the connect? No, what I'm saying. Either way, whatever happens. Oh, happens. either way. Do you go <laughs> either way or you mean either way? Oh, do you mean like am I by? That too is it's, it's that's the question. Oh well, yes, I'm oh, I'm, I'm looking at females as well. Damn, you gonna have fun this weekend? Huh? You will celebrate. I buy a bit. Damn, so, absolutely. So, so damn, so you got a threesome set up or something? <laughs> no, oh. none of that. Oh, and what's wrong with a threesome though? Ain't nothing wrong with threesomes. Niggas just unappreciated. Oh, they don't appreciate it. <laughs> they 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 can't handle one. What they gonna do with two? Oh my God, you blip, blip, what, blip. what part of the world you in right now? I'm I'm from Philly. Oh shit! Philly, Philly, oh my Philly. God, boy, I, <laughs> I can't deal with you, man. You done cut somebody tires in your life before, then. Absolutely not. Oh no. my god! No, somebody... no I'm a good girl. Oh yeah, I'm what part girl. of Philly? North side, east side? I'm from from north. Oh yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. Yeah, you in a gang? I can't fuck with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why everybody <laughs> say that? Nigga, <laughs> Nigga, it smell like dead people on your street right now, nigga. Y'all got, y'all got a serious. No, 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 no. I laid a murder game down on them, B. 
B. I like I, I had to New York to talk, But I'm I'm like telling you, dog. Like, don't listen, say B. But don't listen, say B. I'm B. laughing because this is my brother, dude. <laughs> like, my brother talked like that because we was all born in New York, but I'm the only country ass nigga that's been raised in my. I hear it all in your so accent. I, I just I just talk like that because I know my brother. Them they they get mad when I do that because they got real when you heavy. Do the B. See, yeah. I don't. That's, I, that's that, that New York shit. Yeah. That we take offense to that. And, and then I and then we I watch. We we ain't from from. See, look, you ready to shoot some shit up now? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's get no, back. No, no, let, 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 let me get my all. let me get my vibe back. You been listening? Yes, I I've been listening. Barry told me to call up because I was in a little twerk contest or whatever. So he told me to call up. So oh, yeah. twerk oh. contest. Well, mm. we can see that. So check this out though. Oh, oh fine. Tag, the hashtag is dumb babies by satellite still. He um doing a little twerk contest where he got the women. Um, he gonna pay their two nights. Uh, at the hotel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You moving too fast. You, you moving, <laughs> you moving too fast. Still trying to find you, you, you moving too you fast. Repeat them the babies. hashtag. It's them babies? Yeah, D-E-M-B-A-B-I-E-S. Them babies. And my bond name is Tiffalis, so y'all y'all check that out. It's Tiffalis? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Am I watching porn right now? Oh, That's, all I see is legs open. Let's play. So what's your, uh, what's your hotel you at? No, I'm just joking. But look. Y'all silly. Oh, my God. You got that spread, yes. though. Yes. <laughs> this is what this show is about. If he don't about. pay for it, I pay for it. What the fuck? <laughs> and you know what I Real love about shit, though. You know what I love about Vine? That it loops. Oh over my God. and over and I'm gonna take you underwear shopping though, because I can't take these little uh bikini shorts right here and the other one. Like... Oh no, no, those those Vicky. Those Vicky. Hey, regardless, I live in Victoria's Secret. Anybody will tell you that, but <laughs> they're I'm a... fine. I got you come down here, I gotta Florida you out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Do, okay. You know what I'm talking about? No, I I'm never a... been, so you never been to Florida? Not since I was like eight to Disney oh, World, man. but okay. man, you ain't, ain't been to Florida. To Disney World you ain't doing your Florida. thing. Hey, look, follow me back. I just followed you though. You told me. All right, I got you. Nah, but tell her, you know, show me some love. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And matter of fact, I'm gonna in the next about ten minutes, I'm gonna give away some Molly juice, right? And uh, oh, okay, I'm, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, slow down, I'm man. Try some. Slow down. Slow down. Boo. Oh my God, what is? All right, look. Molly question of the night: Eye contact when you having sex? Yes or no? It depends. Depends on what? It depends. Are we talking about oral sex or regular sex? Both. Answer both of them. I'm not going to look you in the eye unless you hit it from the back. And I'm definitely all for looking you in your <laughs> you eye like... while giving top. <laughs> back at it. So there's listen. something about taking a nigga's soul. It's like you just take his soul and just look him in his eye. Oh, my and he God. Just, he's weak. All right, so we're going to extend the question. You got to look him in his what? eyes and grip at the same time. Jesus. Exactly, yes, yes. I don't yes. want y'all. I don't yes. want y'all. Life to. is over. Rest in peace. Yes. I don't want both of yes. y'all she, on the phone she, 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 talking to the each other. I don't want it. <laughs> this is my show. Let them I, talk. Let them talk. I don't want Let them, them talk. I don't. Let them talk. <laughs> Let me call my grandma. Let them and pray talk. for this show. <laughs> Go ahead. So let me get this right. Hold up, because I'm going to let y'all talk. But listen. What is your favorite? I'm extending this question. This way to the left. So when you giving okay. head and you taking that nigga soul, what is your favorite part of giving head? She don't give head. She give top. Watching them, watching them <laughs> twins and, and and bitch up. Damn. When he can't take it no more, that's the that's the ultimate satisfaction. You do his face like he's saying ah, like yeah. <laughs> and he just he can't take it no more. He ever slapped the top of your head? <laughs> I hate Rick. No, but this, this why I hate Rick. Is. This why I hate Rick right here. This moment right here. This nigga try to hit her with a hammer in the top you of her ain't head. Gotta, you, ain't, you can you can be sensual and rough without. You know what I mean, you can fuck you her show face can. and her hair. Okay. When he yeah. hits you on the top of your head, baby, that's when you took it. So when he when <laughs> he trying to get back. You, when he so strike you, you across your you noggin. So you, so you. So you like the that gagging part. Funny. Then. So you 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 enjoy the gagging part? I don't gag. Oh shit! Oh. Bullet, bullet, oh, bullet! Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a I never wanted to pray so much in my life on a sexual show. I didn't know we was going this deep in. You know what I'm talking about? So your hashtag <laughs> silk throats. All right. So listen. Um, I appreciate you calling. I'm gonna give away some money no just real real soon. Hey, matter of fact, since I'm following you. I need you to go ahead and go on downtoplease.com, my website, and find something that you can purchase on there and support my movement. I got all kind of oil gels and edible candles and 
And right. since I'm speaking on sex toys, I'm going to have Vanessa call up here. You know what I'm talking about? She's all the way in Seattle, and that's one of my instructors. And she's one okay. of my she's one of my cool, cool people. So I'm going to definitely have her call up. Um, I appreciate the call. I'm following you. That's following no problem. Me, you know? Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. And you got to call every week, man. I got to I gotta dig in deeper on you, man. I got <laughs> to get to the bottom of that Philly North. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't mean to cut you all like that, but you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I wanted to get back to this conk anyways. Hey, mm-hmm. if, I don't, if I don't stop you, nigga. Get back to the cunt. Nasty. I'm going to feel like I was in day shit for a minute there, bro. <laughs> hey, Stu, man. What they do, boy? Ain't much, brother. Hey, man. Killing this cunk. Man, look, man. Look, man. I'm so glad I ain't, I ain't, I ain't her relative or nothing <laughs> like that, because I be eating up all our profit. Because this is something I got to actually eat all day. Do you make some just for the crib to be eaten with? Or like, how does that go? We don't even even think about that shit, huh? We so used to it. When I'm cutting it, I'm like, all right, let me taste it. I cut that cone. I eat that cone. I come to your crib every day. that cone. Yes. Looking for stuff I ain't even leave up. Auntie, my shirt here? No, but the cone here, the cone here. Oh, yeah? You don't mind if I get a little scoop or two? I'll just be cutting your yard for <laughs> no two. reason and shit. Like, just to be around you. Be cutting it, yeah. For real. Just Waking your ass up early this Saturday nigga, morning. I know this nigga ain't washing my car <laughs> at four in the morning. What the... <laughs> Bro, stop laughing at us, man. Because you know why he laughing? Because somebody does that. <laughs> somebody, somebody does, does that. That's the truth. I'm telling you, that's sack, boy. That's that trap life. Boy, that remind me of my old life. But anyway, yo, <laughs> hey, shout out to everybody that's been calling up, man. Like, um, I definitely got to get Vanessa on the line, man. Uh, I got to have her call up, man. That's one of my gurus. If you want to know anything about sex toys, man, she knows. Mm. Trust me, like, that's... If you ever need an erotic poet to turn up your sex party. Oh, no, we You know what? I, w- I want to If you ever have... need a sexy hostess... Turn up any party. We about to start yeah. doing something. Any things. party? Any type of party? Any mm. type of party. Okay. You'll, you'll be you'll be surprised. Because I've probably been to one before. No, no. that You're you <laughs> thinking the wrong way. I'm just I'm talking. Just you saying. know, I might be having a little personal party. I just need somebody to, you know. Shout out to all the indie artists. Yeah. I hosted a gig last week for I, the independent artists. I, I, I know you're going there, Petty. Spew a little poetry in I, the I background. I know you're going there because I was That'd wondering the same one. thing. Can you recite erotic stuff while I'm in the middle of oh Lord. <laughs> hey you know. if the price is right, right. look no, I'm right. a professional <laughs> what you need right. I want you, you right there mm-hmm. right there side of the bed oh, not in front of the mirror man, not in front not of the mirror y'all, y'all, y'all to the left <laughs> um, let's get this caller right quick man <laughs> see what's going on caller what's your name Vanessa Hey, Vanessa. Hi. How you doing, <laughs> Vanessa? I'm good. How are you? Man, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Vanessa? <laughs> I, I am good. I'm I, good. I, I love I love people that are very sexual and very um people that I can make money with, and Vanessa is both. You feel me? Like, so for, for my people that don't know who you are or what you do, right? I want you to explain to my to my listeners and my guests who you are and what you do. Okay, well, I am an independent um, sales rep, sales consultant for Passion Party. Uh huh. Um, and so what we do is basically uh, have parties and sell. Not only sex toys, but everybody thinks it's just about sex, but we have a lot of different other things that we sell. It's just basically empowering women and mm-hmm. in life and mainly in the bedroom. <laughs> mm. You say empowering women. You said maybe in the bedroom or definitely in the bedroom? <laughs> mainly in the mainly. bedroom. Oh, I was going to say. So let me, let me ask you this then, <clears throat> because you said about empowering women and stuff like that. It leads to my question, which is, what are the main reasons that females book you for these parties? The main reason, um, which they a lot of people, because a lot of people that don't understand really what passion parties is, mm-hmm. is they just want to have a good time. So they book mm-hmm. to just, you know, have a good time with their friends and get away from the, you know, chaos of their children and work and just have a good time. But it's um, 
then they learn so much more. So it's about learning, having fun, and relaxing, and just, you know, like I said, educating them in the bedroom and, and empowering themselves and learning more about their bodies. So they just get a lot more for what they bargained for. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's a lot more than what I've bargained for in, in a good way. Because right. before I start doing these parties, I really, I thought like what you're saying, like I thought it was just vibrated and stuff like that. But it's like I'm like the ghetto doctor feel of sex now because a lot of women, <laughs> a lot of women tend to call me to do parties because they want a male's perspective. And, you know, I'm always right. in, the, in, in the strip clubs and things of that nature. And a lot of females, they scared to go to like sex stores and stuff like that. So they call me, they see the pictures I post on Instagram and, I do house calls and all, like, so, so, like for real, like it's it's a trip because, like Vanessa, I told you this, like it's some females that see pictures, they won't hit no likes, they won't use no comments, they will either text the number that's on there, which is my cell, <laughs> or they hit my inbox, and then when I come to their house, I'm thinking it's like one female, it'd be like five of them, and they'd be like, where the bag at? I'd be like, right. what? <laughs> when I do a layout, right. sometimes I have to explain what certain things do, and it's amazing, though. You know what I'm talking about? So out of all the products that you have, like, what's, what's like, one of your number one sellers? Like, there's a few. There's, a, there's so many things that um, came to mind when I, when I think about number one selling products. Mm -hmm. it's, our, it's just, like, for individuals, everyone's different. So for the man, I definitely say the Mimi. The mal masturbation sleeve. <laughs> oh. Is that, that is like the only color. toy? Because and I hear that's like popular just across the board, just like period. Like yeah. what, what it exactly does? This feels like pussy, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we always tell me you can't just put it on um, dry because you don't want to give them a wax job down there. Just like <laughs> pussy. You always gotta use it with lube, <laughs> and, and um, the wetter the better, and it really does feel like the real thing. So they absolutely love it. I get so much good feedback about that. So it's really good for couples. A lot of women buy it for their husbands. And, you know, they're just women are not always in the mood. And, and Mimi is a great, a great um, addition to the bedroom for couples as well. You know, men can use it by themselves. But if the woman is just not in the mood or she's, um, you know, that time of the month, she just had a baby or she's, you know, just doesn't want to deal with it, just had them the Mimi. <laughs> I know I know a lot of females that um when I explain the, the the oral part of it like they they really they really love it though because um um you know how you know how it stretches it stretches right. it, like the the shaft of it is like um you know what I'm saying so you've used a the product females, a, lot, a lot of females that don't swallow can you like, give an actual testimony I can, I can pull it out and show it to you, you but just not be no, the president wanna, and be the client as well. If it's not dead stock, leave it in that thing. We nah, don't need I, nothing I cut the lights out and make it relieve. Now, but wait a minute, he didn't even answer me. Have you used the product? Listen, so now nah, my freak. name. <laughs> I'm a freak, man. Ain't no Your limit. homework tonight. Ain't no limit, boy. Hey, <laughs> if I if she my ex, boy, I made her do everything. So uh, if you listening to me and you dating one of my exes, boy, don't hey, let that you still ain't don't let that girl lie to you, boy. She do that. So I'm going to take do, that as a yes. She then. do that. So, uh, all right. Uh -huh. So since we're talking about these parties, since we're talking about these parties and you say these young ladies ha like to have fun, and oh, my gosh, do they. I know what are some of the, the wildest things I've seen at some parties, but what are some of the wildest things that you came across <laughs> at your parties? Um, well, sometimes the girls can get pretty crazy because there's usually always alcohol involved. Um, but this one... It was just really funny. There was, it was a product. Um, we have a product. That, well, we just discontinued, but it's, it was called Fluttery Frenzy. Oh. So it's like um, you strap it over. It, it's uh, it, it was uh, like a hummingbird. So you put that on, and it vibrates. And it's, you put it on, you know, like underwear. Yeah. And I, ha I usually have the women at the party, well, just put it on just for fun. They put it on over their clothes. I had this one lady. Oh, my gosh. She was making a face <laughs> at like 30 seconds after she put it on. And, and it was so funny because I'm looking at her and I'm like, she is, she's just making, it was so funny. I'm just looking at her laughing and then she's like, really, really enjoying it. And I'm like, okay, let's take this off. And she's like, don't touch me. I'm like, what? <laughs> and oh she, she really like, she had an orgasm in front of everybody. So. Oh my God. <laughs> and you know what? That was. That was unexpected. That, that that um that specific product, they need to bring that back. Cause you know what's funny? A lot of dancers have bought that from me, and they wear it on stage. 
And they, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then a lot of couples have purchased that also because they 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 like it for the fact that a man can have the the remote control and he can right. you know go from fast to slow or whatever. But that's that's sort of like the same thing with the uh with the uh vibe, right? The Wii vibe. Yeah, the Wii vibe. Oh yeah, the Wii Five Four Plus. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's it's um, that one's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more to it, and it's one of our top of the line products. And it's definitely something that the couple can use together. And the great thing about it is, it's our first toy with its own app. Like it has its own phone app. Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty amazing. So so your your boyfriend can like put that on you, and he could be like at work, and then he could just like you just keep it on, <laughs> and then he could just hit that <laughs> hit that button while you're in the kitchen like cooking <laughs> for the kids, and be like. Well, it's pretty discreet, so they can't hear. But yeah, you, um, yeah he can control it from anywhere in the world, not just. From work. <laughs> anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah it's, it's anywhere silly. in the world. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets real out here. So, so what do you love? What do you love the most about hosting parties, though? Um, there's so many reasons, but honestly, um, it's just so much. F- I'm new to this area. I'm, I'm actually in California. I know you said Seattle, but I'm from California. Uh-huh. I live in the Bay Area. I've been here about two years, and I've met so many people from doing these parties. Like I. I don't, I don't even, you know, know how I met all these people. It's just, it's just in these two years, I'm out in the street and I see people in the mall, I see people at the stores, and I know these people, and it's from parties. Wow. <laughs> so I really love, I really love that I get to meet just all kinds of new people. Um, I just being able to stay at home with my daughter. I'm just now doing passion parties. I'm not working anymore, so being able to wow. uh, pay my bills and not have to worry about going to work and just working on my own schedule. I mean, that's that's a beautiful thing, and I've been oh, aiming God. for that for a while, so I'm really glad that I can do it now. That's awesome, though, man. That's cool. Um, I just wanted to uh, have people uh, say hi to you and do a little intro. You definitely got to uh, uh, find me some extra people from my set to kind of um we we're gonna touch on this every week now nah, this this is just the one of many let let the people know how to get in contact with you website twitter instagram all that right right okay well um i normally could okay i do have a website <laughs> okay. and you can contact me from my website it's curious kitten mm-hmm. so it's um Curious is C U R I O U S. Okay. K I T T E N S P P dot com. And I do use the Kick app a lot. So um, my username is Vansky, V A N S K Y 82. Okay. Contact me in either one. Um, find me, find me somebody else, man. We gonna, we gonna, like, next week I'm gonna have somebody else from my team call up, cause, uh, we might have some more questions out there or whatever. You still didn't right, answer okay. my question, though, about the sleeve. It's all good, though, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> I mean, maybe I have, like, you know what I'm talking what's about? What's a, what's a good lube to put in it? Does it get sticky? What does it you, feel you like? You heard what that, Vanessa? <laughs> what, what, what's a, what's a good lube to use? Um, I would use all mine or I'm nourished. I'm nourished is actually a little bit thicker than the normal lube that the one that we carry. Um, so it's we call it from we call it uh, the marathon for marathon sex because it lasts a long time. You have sex for a long period. What of was time, that again? And- what was that again? <laughs> Excuse me. What was that again? People looked at each other like, oh, marathon. It's our marathon lube. <laughs> marathon. What was the and exact it name? It's it called marathon. What was that? It's called marathon lube. No, that's what we call. That's what I like to call it. But I'm nourished. So um, is it is it for JJ friendly and stuff yes, like that? Yes, definitely. Water base. <laughs> but we Love also it. have an edible loop. So if you're gonna play with the Mimi and then later on, you know, um, go down for oral pleasure. <laughs> this you can definitely feels like it might. Embrace. We have a strawberry flavored loop. All right. Yeah, we got, we got I'm just saying, this sleeve feels like it might feel like some coochie. Like, can you put this in a microwave on five seconds and warm it up? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I I would not try that. Yeah, I pulled I pulled out a I pulled I pulled out a couple of objects here. up here so so she could uh check it out. And I got they just throwing got, sleeves got, all over the place. Yeah, they over here throwing <laughs> sleeves around Vanessa. They like throw you, me that sleeve. You, you're, you're making it out of control out of here. Like, I got the all-good lubrication with me, too, though. And, um, right. That's good. Yeah, so. Matter of fact, I'm going to make sure everybody get a sample of uh, Nibbler. And, uh, matter of fact, explain Nibblers before you get off the line. Explain it to them so 
they know what it is. I'm going to give everybody a sample one here. Oh, okay. So um, that one is, is, you can do it like a little teeth, put, apply yeah. some onto your lips, and then you can kiss um, your body, have him kiss your body, kiss his body. And what it's going to do is going to give you a nice tingling sensation. And it was really made for the nipple. So it's... Uh -huh. To put you in the mood, so get I guess you this answers get it going. <laughs> my nipple situation earlier. You so. need to give her two. Because <laughs> you got two nipples. Take it and do like that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shoot. I'm texting the babies, right? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Lying up, up. They up here texting all their little side pieces up here. Oh, my goodness. I can't, I can't deal with this. Just getting the, <laughs> Vanessa, I, I, well, tried, I tried to be controlled and put you in a controlled oh, environment. Sorry. But um, between, Re between the Remy, between the uh, conk. conk, that's an aphrodisiac, and that I, I might have to wipe these seats now after, oh, um, and then them playing with these toys up here, I might have to like get some um, um, the baby wipes and wipe the wipe seats down. Too, right. Uh, <laughs> and make sure you um, talk to the other people about panty liners too. We need to start selling some type of panty liners too because at these parties, women get very You're right. excited. <laughs> Yeah, so we need to work on that. Yeah, we'll send an email. <laughs> Vanessa, I appreciate you calling up, man. Love is love, man. I'm going to definitely, uh, we're going we gonna to try to get you on once a month, but I definitely got to have somebody on once a week, man. So find me my next contestant. You feel me? Sure, I'll definitely um, ask some of the girls, and we'll see. I'm pretty sure they'll be excited to do it. All right, love. Definitely appreciate it. Good night, baby. All right, Vanessa. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> All righty. But yeah, y'all, um, y'all definitely check out downtoplease.com. Um, it's going down, man. Oh, I ain't mm. never get to talk about the movies I watched though, huh? Oh, the hot tub time machine. I did see that. That was funny as shit. That was so funny. I was bro. forced to laugh at the first one, so nah, I can imagine I might. I didn't really like the first one. I didn't. Expected to even be funny like that when yeah. I watched it. I was like, oh, okay, this yeah. shit. Is oh. I got a chance to Some check out thing. Last Nights. That was gangster as shit. And uh, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. What's good, Carla? Yo, what's good, baby? Man, who this? Yo, this is Best Style, man. You in Best Style? Yeah, man, this is Best Style from Vine, man. Oh, what they do, man? <laughs> Ain't shit, man. It's chillin', man. Man, nigga, I feel like you on Biggie Street right now. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm chillin', man. I'm chillin', man. We there, 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 we there. I can't wait to get to that Florida Superbomb, baby. I swear, it's my first turn in the motherfucking Florida B. Oh, yeah. Turn the fuck up when I get out there. <laughs> I feel like you got a razor blade in your hand while you talking about this. <laughs> yo, yo, one of these niggas try me, B. I'm a buck fifty, this nigga, B. Nah, man, it's going down. We finna, we finna have a lot of fun this weekend, man. It's going to go crazy. And I need y'all to take notes because next week, I want y'all to call back. And everybody that's on the line, everybody that's listening, that's going to Supervine, I want y'all to call back. And I want reviews. I want the details. I want the scoop. What you looking forward to to go down this weekend, bro? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Listen, what I'm looking forward to, first of all, is I mean, I want to meet, I mean, the zoo house niggas. I mean, we'll <laughs> fuck with them a little bit. I mean, I just want to meet everybody on Vine. Now, I know I'm after, you know, Cypher out some of the fake niggas, because there's gonna be a lot of fake niggas down there. But the real <laughs> niggas who I yeah. fuck with and who don't fuck, I just want to meet them, have a good time, man. No violence, man. See some ass titties, shit like that, and that's it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Make that's sure dope. you have your sunscreen. You're yeah. from New York now, yeah. your son. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's, we'll it's, teach you a lesson. All right, so you heard the question of the night, right? Nah, I ain't here. What is it? Okay, here's the question of the night. Eye contact during sex, yes or no? Only during head. Everything else, you don't got to look at me. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Only during head? Yeah, I mean, if she's sucking my dick, I want to look at me. But, I mean, I don't need eye contact for nothing else. Uh, He's trying to take a soul. Uh, I don't know. That shit pressure though, man. I can't tell nah, you. you got he, he right. I'm scared because so if you, you just you... if you just shown, I don't want you looking in my eye because I already know like I might start catching feelings and shit. Like, especially if that head fight and I know that you just like, okay, you're a slider. Okay, I'm leaving the club. I'm just supposed to smash you and then bounce. But if I start looking in your eyes, I might start. So damn, we going to the movies tomorrow? Shit. It, like, I might change my plan or something. You know? I, 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 but look at this though. Look at this though. I mean, like you on top of the chick, you banging it out. 
She looking at you, you looking at her. To me, that shit is weird. Don't look at me. You supposed to be moaning with your eyes in the back of your head or something. Don't stare at me. <laughs> that shit have no. turned me the fuck off. It should have made my fix off. <laughs> I feel you, bro. That nigga I went feel hard. you, bro. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> fuck with Timberlands on, man. You got to watch this. <laughs> Y'all so brutal. <laughs> best I, best I, I don't trust Best I, bitch. He like, Yo, bitch, why you, why you in public calling my <laughs> name, bitch? Like, he see, like, he just snap on bitches, like. He banging like, the broad out with his yeah. butters on. Yeah, for real, though, man. <laughs> nah, man. I ain't going to lie. I mean, to me, you know, I'm a romantic kind of guy. You know, like, I, I take care of my girl, you know. You, you know I mean? If I'm hitting it from the back or something like that, I don't you put my on. Her. I fuck with my Jones on because I got respect for her. Okay. I mean? I I, rock, rock, I, rock. I rock, bitch. I just put the Timberlands on, get some grip, just bang it out. But for my girl, I put, you know, like some Air Force Ones on or something Come on like that. Now. Show her that she's different. Come on now. Preach. <laughs> Preach, guy. I mean? That's right. Because you can't fuck every chick with Timberlands on. I mean, you fuck a hole in the top with Timberlands, but your girl, have a little bit more respect for your girl. I mean, put some classy shoes on, you know. You know what? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's because you know, they used to have you know, socks on or something. Socks on. Put some black socks on to show her, oh, yeah, I got some black love going God, on. Don't just damn, sitting out there banging everybody with Timberlands on. Man, I'm high-fiving you as soon as I see you this weekend. You know that? <laughs> don't, don't shake my hand. Don't give me no doubt. Like, as soon as you see me, bruh, I want you to straight high five me, dog, because you like the last real nigga left. It ain't number you, me, and Tupac, nigga, like, for real. Hey, but, hey, hey. hey listen, if, I mean, listen, I'm going to tell you something right now, man. Yes. The funny thing about me, I'm a cool-ass nigga, and I never try to be real. A mm. real nigga is something that, you know, like you're born. Like, that's in my DNA. So right. I don't got to never say I'm real. I mean, when you meet me, you fuck with me, you hang out with me, you see that I'm real. I mean, right. and if you got a cup on deck, I will be pouring out Hennessy to all the niggas who I fuck with, because I'm trying to be Hennessy wasted. <laughs> you already know, man. Homie, I'm going to see you this weekend, man. Let the people know uh, what Vine you is, man, what the Vine name is. Man, listen, man, my Vine name is SS Best Stop. Got the leader. You could just type in SS Best Stop and you'll see me. I mean, fuck my Six Society fam. You know, the whole Florida. I mean, yo, the whole vibe, man. You fuck with me, I fuck with you, man. man. Follow me, man. You fuck already me. know, man. Hey, stay safe out there, man. I'm going to see you this weekend, homie. You already, man. Listen, man. All y'all be safe, man. Already. Yeah. I'm a Brooklyn all day, you heard? Already. Already. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Salute. But, yeah, man, shout out to all the callers we got up here, man. Shout out to all the callers that's trying to call in, man. I'm sorry, man. We trying that to make it happen. He like Matter of fact, we ain't going to do no We ain't gonna do no number you caller. Whoever the next person that's going to Vine that calls <laughs> up right now, they're going to get some Molly juice, man. I'm breaking the rules, man. The next person. That boy said. What is this Molly juice? Man, I sad. was waiting for, I didn't want to be, like, lame. Like, <laughs> I, I just smoked. I don't want to know about nah. it. But what is Matter this that Molly name? juice? I'm going to have Barry Tone call up here. And, um, okay. explain what Molly Juice is, but it's it's gonna be something you ain't gotta try so hard to uh, uh, entice women. You know what I'm talking about? Because oh. um, it's it's like one, of, it's like a wow. hunch punch. The, if the it, views if you remind expressed me, expressed like, on this show are not on. those of oh, Strong, Strong Arm, Arm Radio, Radio, but blame them all on chaos. <laughs> of those that <laughs> said it. <laughs> Yeah, man. Those that express yeah, man, their views. It, it's definitely going down. You know how many times he says that when I'm talking? <laughs> because you know, I, when the subpoenas come, I'm not with you. That's, that's why I know it. That's why. <laughs> when the subpoenas come, we are not with you. Yeah, man. It's going down, man. Um, I definitely got to say shots to uh, Larry Dawg. Shout out to everybody that um I might have forgot about. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to my whole team and Team Grind Mode and Team Grind Mode 101 and Echelon Music Group and Strong Arm Staff and Beat Condoms and um the new mixtape Life Ain't That Bad. I'm definitely dropping that on Cinco de Mayo. is going down. Just got the cover. It's hot. Salute to the homie Mike Smith. We've been in the studio a lot, banging out. Salute to platinum producer Tony Galvin. Been working real close on my project and my producer Gold and Fort Knox. And, you know, I just had to plug everybody because, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to get interesting. That's all I can really tell you, man. And uh, I'm just happy to be aboard the whole Strong Arm family. I've been here from the beginning, actually. You know what I'm talking about? I just... Then something like a new addition, a new flavor. They needed another angle, so what better guy to fill the position than me? You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? And this is these last couple of weeks have, have have actually been foreplay because mm -hmm. I'm trying to ease my way in. Because one day oh. I know 
Um, Freezy just gonna be like, you know what? <clears throat> Come on, man. You had an orgy in there, man. Like the people, I thought it was just radio, man. Like you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, a wild, I'm a wild guy, man. Bruh. That guy right wild, there might get real in here, man. Wait till they get this cotton candy off this goddamn that wall. Goddamn man. wall. <laughs> wait, the cotton they, candy. wait till we put our goddamn, you know, um, you know, our lights. The in mater- here. It came in. Oh yeah. It came in. Ooh, we're... so we're gonna see if it put itself up or if this guy's gonna. <laughs> uh, come wait, do till it. They, wait till they put these lights up, man. We gotta figure out where that put put that pole in, cause I got a lot of strippers that wanna come in here, like um, you know um, put I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Hugh Hefter this shit, cause um, a lot of these females wanna do some extra things and make my guests very comfortable, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm not going to. Stop well, you know them. some top. Well, always, you know, relaxes me. Well, damn. The views of these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're, they're my views right yeah. there. Yeah. I mean that that because that if could you be do come, views, yeah. if yeah. there is some top yeah. given, I, like some I need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, want, I don't want you to mistakenly give it to someone else. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, yeah. It's going. It's definitely going. I'm gonna look man. you in your eyes too. Yeah. God. <laughs> Did you say lick her in her ass or look yeah, in her know. ass? Cause I'm I didn't hear you. He said he gonna look in her. I wasn't eyes. being funny now. I'm, I'm looking I'm, in her eyes. I thought you know we got because I want to see when she loses that breath when she oh. chooses. Boy, look at what him. she's doing over breathing. Oh, I want to look at. Oh, I want to look at her in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> Carla, what's good? How you doing? How are you? This is Sam Snead. I'm calling out uh, the Molly Juice. Who's this? <laughs> this is this is this is Sam Sneed. Sam Sneed? Yeah, Sam Sneed from Pittsburgh. Oh, snap, you from Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and That's yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I sound like it sounds like a real fake caller, man. I'm I'm gonna figure out. <laughs> how, I know they ain't no and he's drinking berry, man. Man, what they do, berry, man? You're a real Indian giving ass nigga. How you going to call up here? I say the next caller call up here get the Molly Juice. How you going to tell me to give away Molly Juice that you giving away up there at the Supervine and then you going to call and try to get it back? Man, you're a cheap ass yeah, nigga, you, man. You just had me on hold for three hours on, boy. Man, look, man. These calls be jumping, man. It's the trap. You hear me? Right. Did, look, did y'all, did y'all kick me off the app? I can't even listen to the show. They talking about, oh, uh, I got insufficient funds on my prepaid Metro. <laughs> Oh, you know what? oh, that's something you got to talk to Metro about. They ain't got nothing to do with strong <laughs> on. Because, boy, look at here, man. When you go to talk about sex, man, let me tell you something. These women be calling, man, and it's been predominantly women. Mm. And, boy, some of yeah. the things they've been saying about what they want to do at Supervine and all that. Boy, See, I, I missed all that, man. I heard somebody come in. It was fun. I'm like, hold up, what happened? Man, look, man, what just beat up, man. I know you part of it, but just beat up. Man. I'm, I'm trying to take part in all of that. I'm and that, like, and that, conk, that conk you ate the other day was shit, nigga, if it wasn't yeah, for the just I promise, you, I promise but, you, if I, I can see your picture dinner. right now, I am sitting over a whole pot full of conk cutting it up as we speak Bro, right it ain't now. Got, it, ain't got, it ain't got shit on this conk up here I got at the radio station right now, bro. <laughs> Man, listen, man. I'm trying to get it prepared for the supervisor. Listen, you know, man. So I'm prepping this thing. So if you had her up there and the Molly and the Molly juice, nigga. Man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hurt nigga. somebody's daughter, man. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm trying to hurt somebody's daughter. I'm about to, I'm about to go on somebody's <laughs> phone hey, right I now, did, man. I did hear something, though. When I finally did get on, when I finally did put two quarters in the um, <laughs> <my> pay phone, <laughs> I did hear a female talking about something about some type of electric panties that you can you can work from your phone or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 man. Mm-hmm. I need I need one of them. Yeah, man. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I need me. one of them. I, I need I, I got I, I got somebody way across the world. I need to just you know what I'm saying. She talking Every about she talking about, we, she talking about that we she talking about that we vibe, man. I gotta wait till you make some money from Supervine to buy that, but that <laughs> shit ain't cheap. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. That be that be about two. <laughs> It's it about 200 and some chain, but trust me, it's worth it, bro. Wow. You could be at work, bitch. And, bitch, you can hit it with that zit zit. Like, bitch, what you doing, bitch? Zit zit. You feel me? Like, for real, man, that shit dope, too, man. And it fit right in their panties, too, man. That shit, like, I'm female. See what, that? If she, 
Okay. Oh, she just, I just hope she don't leave it at the house and her little boy get it. She run around the house with it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, nah, man. Well, again. So, look, the question of the night, the question of the night was eye contact during sex. Yes or no? Man, for me, I don't like that shit. I, ain't, I don't know it do something to me. I don't really like that shit. I don't like them. Somebody down, took that boy. You know what I'm saying? You're gazing in my eyes while you're sucking me up. That's it. Why? Why? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm weird like that. Like, I, I I just, I don't know. Don't look at me. Like, turn your head or close your eyes or something. Hell no. Nah. I, I just don't like it because I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm fucked up like that. Hell no. Nah. I have heard um, it all. Yeah, I mean, that that's for niggas who be trying to. Snatch a bitch soul, man. Take a bitch soul, everything. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth, let me spit in it, too, type of nigga. Have, I like, soul, I like, bitch. I like eye contact during here. I ain't gonna lie. Especially, she's a freak ass nigga though. Especially, uh -huh. especially if she a swallower though. I ain't gonna lie, boy. She look <laughs> nah, at me. See, nah, that, that she, type of shit. Nah, I love them type oh of women. God, but, I mean, that, that you know might. Nah, see, that might touch the soul. In your eyes, my God. You swallow, I guess I'm gonna be. I don't. I don't right care. Man. I don't care if you show them. Boy, you boy, you look me in my eyes <laughs> and swallow, bitch. We go together right now. <laughs> And I'm in, and I'm, and I'm a, um, give you my, my old lady phone number. And you go with her, too. Nah, bitch. Let me let you know how this relationship going to work, bitch. Like, for real. <laughs> Straight up. You give a nigga head swallow and look in my eyes? Yes. No, man, That's I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of throwed off. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to stop you. I ain't going to tell you don't look at me. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm going to be like, I wish this bitch stopped looking at me. And, that, and, and let me put this disclaimer out there. Females just listening. That don't mean, like, stare at a nigga like you a pedophile or some shit. Like, don't start just staring. Oh, this is how you get his soul. You when you bitch. look in his eyes, you have to be saying Not, stuff at the same no, no, time. No, no, then you, no. You in have to head. actually love it. It got to be passionate. You can't just be staring like, oh, I ain't going to blink, bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> your, eye, your eyeballs done dried out and shit, and you like, well, you, I'm you looking at you like you need Vizine, You need to bitch. speak like, for yourself. <laughs> Because no. we need to have a full out battle. You want we a gonna staring see. contest? One. Who blink first, bitch? One. Exactly. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, you I think can't I want to listen to a nigga who hit bitches in the top of the head? Why and is that, head? If that top is that good, you got to let her know. This yeah, shit good. Got, Bow! Got, bitch, what the fuck? No, it's not, it's not. It's not this shit good. Bow! Uh, it's this shit good. Uh, get the uh, fuck uh, off of uh, me. Nah. That's what it is. I don't do like all the leave me a forehead. little bit of soul. Right there. Yeah. Man, nah, nah, I ain't nobody on top of the head. Now, goddamn, you trying to get the charge? Yeah, he trying to. Ain't no charge. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't never been on that tenth floor. That was the problem, man. I ain't hit no charge. I ain't hit no, no business, I hit no business on top. Nah, of the head. you know why he talk you ain't like hit, that? You ain't hit them good enough. Cause he worked for the people. Mm -hmm. That's why he got to hit. You got to hit them good enough. That should be good. I can't even reach your head, bitch. I done grabbed pillows that was in the right, next room, right. bitch. And we, I done grabbed the sofa. <laughs> and I'm in the bedroom, bitch. I done hey. unscrewed the light bulb, licked the light bulb, put yeah. the light bulb back, back bitch. In. All kind of shit. Yeah. Done yeah. burnt my yeah. tongue on the light bulb. It'd be like, I done woke my baby up, put him back to sleep. All kind of shit. I'd be like, this nigga's weird as fuck, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's, Girl, this nigga went to reading the Bible while I was getting in there, bitch. Got to call your soul that. back on. Yeah. Yeah. Put pillows over my face, all type of shit. I like that shit. I got to do a re-exorcism to get my soul back, bitch. For real. <laughs> hey, man, you been on the line too long. I done missed about three calls, man. Hey, uh, let the people know about Supervine. You got 60 seconds. Go man. ahead. Florida Supervine is going down the 24th through the 27th. Daytona Beach. We're going to be at the Plaza Resort and Spa. Jesus. It's going down. Y'all hear the y'all hear the people calling in. We got Jesus, all the little down. females it's coming so from everywhere. We got all the niggas. <laughs> I just heard the New York niggas. You know what I'm saying? We got them coming from everywhere, man. Um, mm -hmm. If you want any information, go to floridasupervine.com and um, follow anything that say Zoo House on any social network. Just type in Zoo House. You're gonna see me. You're gonna see Drink. You're gonna see Hundred. You're gonna see uh, Spotty. You're gonna see you're gonna see Peanut. You're gonna see somebody with Zoo House. Just follow them and they'll, they'll lead you where you need to be. I appreciate the call up, bro. We we still got to try to get this Molly juice away. I need y'all to stay listening because I need y'all to uh, know who it is so y'all can uh, make sure they okay. work when they get okay. up there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to everybody that's uh, got a nigga locked in. Daytona, I will see you this weekend. Shout out to all my real. I don't like the word fans. That's corny. Uh, shout out to all my supporters and shit. Uh, Tampa, I'm in Tampa next week. 
is going down for DJ Head Bust a birthday party. I'm hosting the uh, strip club. I forget the Bust name up. of it. It's going down. I might just. I need to be a vendor up there. Oh, man. Bust really? got all the party girls. Oh, my gosh. And then the week after that, I'm a, uh, uh, it's another oh. Vine party going on in Atlanta. So. I'm going to definitely be up there, you know, until my, uh, oh, my God, I can't wait to get to Atlanta. <laughs> my Jesus. Oh, my gosh. I just, I love being me, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and not in the most non-conceited way because everybody know me, know I'm very humble, but it's about to get interesting. South Carolina, I think the week after that. Alabama the week after that. So You busy. Yeah, man, we finna hit that road, man. We gotta take that strong arm um, brand in, in in the in the trenches where some people ain't even at yet. You know what I'm talking about? We cover all grounds over here, at echelon. We definitely cover all grounds in grind mode, nigga. You know that's what we do. So you already know. Like I say, life ain't that bad. Single to Mayo. I got one more poem coming up from this missus. You know what I'm talking about? Do we need to put them lights down again? Y'all, y'all got. I'm scared to have you touch the lights. Y'all <laughs> broke the shit last she night. Done, what kind of poem is this? She it pulled. wasn't me. A condom yeah. out for See, that's the how <laughs> Did she just thought. pull a condom out? <laughs> what? I just pulled the condoms out. Yeah, them out. condoms all on the mic. I try to make sure ain't nobody. She just pulled rock. one out. I'm going to say, hold okay. on one moment. I'm trying to, try to make sure ain't nobody raw dogging on the microphone, the microphone or whatever. Microphone. So, you know what I'm talking about? Don't leave, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Residue. So, so uh, uh, matter of fact, oh. cut the light down a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? We finna go back in that. <laughs> finna go back into that. Sexy that mood. Oh, shit is going down. Can I get a hell yeah? What you did? Hell yeah. yeah. Can I get a night? Night. Oh, you got a finger fuck the light. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Come on. Rick, participate. This I, I, my hands are busy. Oh, this, shit. Like I say, what? your hands are busy. You ready? You got the sleeve over there? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Man, let me get this sleeve and put this bitch back in his bag. Go ahead. I call this one. He was younger than me. You can check this out on iTunes. Google Play, the entire CD, Some Chicks Poetry on Amazon. And this is shouts out to, to all my cougars, to all my, my ladies that um like that young dick. And, uh, you know, possibly to the... That is... <laughs> Somebody's, like, snapping their, their fingers the fuck off over there, like, no more snapping, yes. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, my poetry be written and inspired by, like, inspired and written by real-life events and... Sometimes you got to get that young dick. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Can I get a night? Night. I call this when he was younger than me. And he was younger than me. But nowhere near as wise as me. But no one could grab my thighs like he. And he was younger than me. Age ain't nothing but a number and going down is going to be your thing. I know you're full of energy. But do you really think you can hang? And he was younger than me. Come sit on mama lap. I be a sugar mama. Getting stamps on your passport to go to the Bahamas. Pack lights. No need for pajamas. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll talk to your mama. Because you are younger than me. All wet behind the ears. Breath smelling like Similac. I love when you choke me and fuck me from the back. You smiling and blushing because I taught you that. You never heard a kitty purr like that? It's because I ain't a kitty, bitch. I'm a cougar sliding up on you to school you. You think I love you, but I fooled you. <laughs> I mean, because you are younger than me. My juices run down your cock like wine grapes fermented in the vineyard to the second of the clock. You like the way this pussy pop. Can you feel this pussy get hot? Can you take the way I grind I my hips I on be. your lips? On right and he was younger than me. I, I saw you with your girlfriend the other day. Does she know how to put that whole dick away? Mm. I mean, like swallow it, gargle it, spit it out, suck it back up, and rub it on her face? Shit, shit. Does she bounce up and down on it like a cloud full of precipitation? Mm -hmm. Love, come down. Ooh, you make my love come down. Mm. Probably not, because she is younger than me. Mm. And at the end of the training day, I put you away when it's time for no work or play. Because I need he, who was older than me, to fuck my mind just like my body. And he was younger than me. All right? Mm. All right. Now y'all cool. Something 
nails, girl. Don't, don't turn, <laughs> Man, you don't turn the lights on Shout out to April being National Poetry mm-hmm. Month. Anybody who knows a poet, follows yet. a poet. Thank and, you. Um, you know, supporting, support all the poets. If you know an open mic, if you want to know of an open mic, you can follow me on Instagram, L-A-U underscore M-I-I. Hashtag L Michelle. Mm. I could plug you where the other poetry spots at. That ain't mine, though. If you want to get on the mic and as indie artists, hip hoppers, poets, musicians, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you got to get that art off. You got to support the scene, or there be no scene to support. That's, real. That's what you got to do. Support That's each true. other. That shit was exciting. Yeah. Suck a little dick. Oh shit! Cut the light back on. No, no, not yet. Hold on. <laughs> I got to cal- I got to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Man, yeah, dent it up this table over here. Damn. Shouts out to if you is like that. <laughs> Shouts out to me if you <laughs> if you following me on like the table ain't gonna tip over, shit gonna start sliding off. Yeah, no. Iceberg straight ahead. All right, I gotta get my mind back. Listen, damn, my show over. Listen, oh <laughs> uh, god damn, I ain't even getting Molly juice away. God damn, I got too much shit going on right now. Um, <laughs> sheesh. H2, what's up, man? You still with me? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, man, tell the people how to get in contact with you, bro. Um, Real simple. Instagram. I don't really do Facebook. If you need me, Instagram. I am DJH, the number two. No O, sweet. So so let me ask you this, though. I did? Yeah. As far as... Last week. As far as... As far as as far as um the DJ game, like what is your vision? Like, what's next for you? Like, um, because I know you're doing the mixtapes, I know you're doing the clubs and all that, but like, what what you what do you have laid out? Shit, um, right now I'm um, I'm actually building up my company, H2 okay. Creative Concepts, um, marketing, branding, promo, videos, mm. um content of any type and kind. Um, 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 um. <coughs> I don't know. I always tell people, like, I'm, I'm a renaissance man, so if you think you need it and don't really know where to go to get it, hit me up. This is a 95% chance that I do it. Hmm. Any Everything advice? Is. Any advice for the new jacks, the new DJs, the new because it's it's always a battle with the old and the new. You feel me? Like the new jacks and don't you know. don't don't be a stick. Don't be afraid to play records. That's first and foremost. Um, when you start popping, I ain't gonna tell you to be humble, man. Fuck oh. being humble, uh-huh. but <laughs> be grateful. Yeah. Be grateful. Know that the next day. Uh, another younger DJ could come and push you right out. Or, as messed up as, you know, some of these promoters here, boy, a nigga might, nigga might book somebody for $50 less than you. And yeah. they don't give a damn about your talent. So yeah. be grateful. That's real. Get that, get that information one more time before you get up out of here, player. Instagram, Twitter, I am DJH2. Um, if you need anything from H2 Creative Concepts, that's H2CC Miami on Twitter. Um, mixtape Bullies. If you need your mixtape hosted, got one of the best in the game. Uh, what else? You need videos. Yeah, H2CC Miami. Um, I don't know. If you need advice, man, just hit me up. Because I'm, right. I'm always spreading my knowledge, whether it's DJ or the art of living. Like, you do, a, you do the sex thing, I do the art of living. If you're trying to live a positive life, you trying to make the best out of your worst days, your car got stolen. Nigga, I'm going to tell you that bitch <laughs> might have blew up on the next nigga who got it. So Yo. thank God for that. You already know. Miss <laughs> Fruity Dress, yes. Um, I really appreciate you coming through. Thanks for having me. I love your aura. I love your vibe. Thank you, thank you. I love how you let God use you and direct you mm-hmm. in the path that he has chosen for you, especially in entrepreneurship. I love it. So I bless your path, and I will Thank definitely you. be keeping you in prayer. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. I said 30 minutes, but 30 minutes, what, was two hours? I, t- <laughs> I, told, I told her she was going to have fun. She didn't believe me, man. Like I just wanted to get you away from being in the kitchen, yeah. smelling conch, and cutting up fruit. I wanted to get you away from the crib. Consider, consider this a free date. 
<laughs> that you had with you and your man. Y'all got to, you know what I yeah. mean? Vibe and do something that you don't ordinary do. Had so, to hear some poetry. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I try to give you. I try to give you a lot. To, and and, I, and homie need to be taking notes. You know what I'm talking about? So he can go home and you know handle that business. I gave you a little mood setter. You feel me? And so, all that good poetry down on the end. Yeah. So he supposed to be in the car. Like why the car ain't started? Man, you, <laughs> man, you slipping, bro. Like don't let me talk you through this, boy. Like. Yeah, boy, I, I and you got some nibbler too, right? You got some oh, nibblers. Yeah. You, oh, it's nibbler going in down tonight. <laughs> in my hand. Man, look, man. You, you trust me. I do parties, bro. And one thing I, I've learned is us men tend to think we know what we think we know. And women is always searching, dog, for that next or that newer. Keep it fresh. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm talking to my listeners now. I ain't talking to my homie. My homie covered. He good. He Gucci. But I'm just saying, like, to the young ladies out there and the young guys out there, man, don't don't get robotic in that pussy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't get robotic, man, because once it becomes traditional, them eyes tend to wonder. You know what I'm talking about? Like, for real, man, this is what I know, man. Like, you know what I mean? And one thing I love about strippers, man, is they sexually open. So when I go to these clubs, and I always say this, they look in these bags, and they try to buy everything in the bag. If it, whether they got it or they don't got it, or they want to try something. Eight's too man. He'll tell you, man. Like when I be in them dressing rooms and shit. And I'm lying, man, bro. I think I'm gonna start asking for a commission. G talk, like because regular female be like, oh, I ain't finna do that. Or nigga ain't finna. Uh, uh-uh, uh, ain't nothing going in my butt. Shitting me. Your competition <laughs> saying the opposite. They saying. Um, I tried the other two lubes you sold to me last time, but you ain't got a butt plug and the other kind of Listen, numbing. Ju- that's what that sleeve is for. Man, look, man. These girl be... The, the, things, the stories that I've heard at these... Man, that, don't let me get on that. But anyway, once again, get the contact information so people know how to get in contact with you. Instagram, fruity, F-R-U-I-T-Y underscore dress, D-R-E-S-S-E-D. Underscore conch, C O N C H. You know when I Hit bring some, you when I bring somebody on my show, that ain't gonna be the last time you see him. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, and my other wonderful guest mm. who who got everybody all aroused and mm. all. You know what I'm mm. talking about, like. Oh, just on top of you know, <laughs> no pun intended, but you know, I do the erotic poetry. I also spit that conscious shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta have some poetry. I have a 14 year old son. So I got to make some kid-friendly stuff just in case. Can your mom come for career day? Because I make being a poet lucrative. So I got to have some conscious shit to spit for the um for the chidgens. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had the opportunity to perform in, at a variety of venues where I appeal to the youngins and to the freaks and a few Christians. Yeah. <laughs> Give them the contact information so they get up, so they can get up with you so we get out of here. Y'all hit me up, Lau me on Instagram, L A U underscore M I I. On Twitter, L Michelle 2. On Tumblr, Lau me. Facebook, L Michelle. L Michelle anything. That's one L. L M I C H E L E. Just like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Hashtag Some Chicks Diary. Mm-hmm. You can find all the neat stuff in there. Some Chicks Poetry. All the neat stuff. Hashtag Majestical Lips. Mm-hmm. All that. Yeah. Sweetie, anything you'd like to say before we get up out of here? Tune in tomorrow, Wednesday, the voice of the streets. It's going down. So you already know, each and every Tuesday right here, man, you already know how to follow me, Grime Old 101 TV, man. That's the radio show. That's the Oh, yeah, shout out show. to DJ Silent. I didn't mean to cut you off on that one. No, nah, definitely. And, um... Y'all definitely uh, keep God first in whatever you do. You know, to mind it's a rough world. Got to stay prayed up, you know. Yeah. I like to have fun. I like to talk about different things, but I I wouldn't be shit without God. <laughs> you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? I would have right. never made it this far without him, so I always got to acknowledge him in whatever I do. You know, to mind, um, we about to get up out of here, man. I'm going to see y'all next Tuesday. I got a couple interesting guests next week. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't going to put that out the bag yet, and it's going to get, I ain't going to lie, it's going to get classy but nasty next week. You know? so, <laughs> Hold so y'all on now. just y'all H2, you, you got the proper music, the proper yeah. part and guests, yeah. because you know it's after 12. 
He need to find that issue, man. That's what you need to do. What you talking about? This shit right here? Yeah. Oh. Don't you be going to the gym or something? Oh. I can tell, bro. D D D D J H T H T H T. I ain't come to play it all. Everything in the time's too good, it's smelling too right. Real. You're looking too fine. Uh-huh. Real niggas don't piss lines. We say what's on our mind. We say this all the time, yeah. but a nigga sort of psychic. You have a bad attitude if what I said, you ain't like it. Ain't them facial expressions, bottom lip, you keep biting. Yeah. I see us being nasty. Yeah. I see us being trifling. I see a lot of scratches. I see a whole lot of shit breaking. Me and you, butt booty. Come to play it all. Then you can't play 